Hey guys, my name is Maijil. In this video, I'd like to talk about my entire experience through Skilling. Uh, initially, after my B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering, I had decided to do my Masters in Germany. So one of the basic requirements of doing any Masters program is that you must have the basic knowledge of that specialization that you want to go for. So after going through several websites, I then came across the Skilling website. They have a lot of blogs about the different kind of uh, specializations that a mechanical engineer can uh, do. After going through it, I decided to finalize my specialized field as uh, the CFD field. One of the basic requirements of doing a CFD specialization is that you must have interest in uh, fluid mechanics and uh, mathematics. Apart from that, you must have a little knowledge on programming, which I did not have. So after consulting with Skilling, uh, I got to know that their courses uh, start with the most basic uh, programming knowledge and they teach uh, all the uh, courses step by step for programming. So they start with the most basic uh, programming uh, challenge and they keep on adding layers of difficulty and by the time you finish off your course in programming, uh, you would have performed about two or three uh, high level programming projects. That is how I decided to enroll in Skilling. Apart from that, they also had a very high Google rating, so I decided to go forward. Uh, at Skilllink, I had done my uh, master's certification in the CFD domain. So this course consists of several uh, programming languages, which will be used, which can be used by CFD engineers like uh, MATLAB and Python. Apart from that, we also learn about uh, other CFD softwares like Ansys Fluent and Converge that can help us to simulate different types of flows in uh, different models. The course content is arranged in such a way that a person with no prior knowledge to about CFD, they can um, specialize in the CFD at the end of the course. So they slowly keep on adding layers of difficulty and accompanying those every topic is a challenge which uh, one must complete. For completing your challenge, you need to research about you know the different phenomenons and processes which are involved in your topic. So you'll have to go through different research papers, websites to gather information. This helps in increasing your knowledge base. Apart from that, there is also a project uh, display portal in which you can publish your projects which you have performed at Skilling or maybe even if you have performed it independently. That portal is unique to you, so all you need to do is in your resume, you need to attach that uh, the link of that uh, website and uh, your employer or uh, the person who's going to recruit you to the university, they can just go through that link and go through all your projects which you have performed. Uh, this is a good way of uh, you know representing your uh, projects on an uh, you know on an online portal so that people can actually view the projects which you have done. Skilling gives us an opportunity to work on several industrial level projects. That is not something that uh, our BTEC courses allow us to do. Uh, in BTEC, we learn a lot of theoretical concepts, but we never get the chance to actually apply those theoretical concepts on the practical models. Whereas at Link, they teach us limited and necessary theoretical concepts, which we can immediately apply on an industrial level project to understand the application of the theory we are studying. Also, the recruiters of uh, different companies and the selection committee of any university the main requirement is that you must have basic knowledge of the job post or the master's program that you want to apply for the more projects you have done on that domain the higher your chances of getting an opportunity to work at that company or to get admitted in the master's program killing it provides that opportunity as well as it gives a platform to display your projects to the committee the technical support team at Skilllink is uh, brilliant. So there were a lot of times that uh, throughout the course I had some doubts which I could not get it clear even after you know searching online. 
In such cases, I raised a ticket and I sent my doubts to the Skilllink uh, technical support team and uh, they assigned me a support person who immediately gets all my doubts cleared. I actually had a huge help from the support team when I was preparing for my uh, job interview. Uh, I had taken a part in the job fair which was organized by Skilling and at that time I had uh, learned a new uh, software that was ANSA. So in that uh, we have to you know work on meshing different types of surfaces. So the knowledge of how exactly do you have to organize the mesh that is not something which you can just get it online. It's something which people who have experience and have worked in that domain they can you know guide you exactly how the industries they want a uh, mesh surface to be so i had a huge help during that uh, period of time because every week i was coordinating with them in order to increase my uh, efficiency in the different meshing techniques so the technical support team is great and i think that's the best part of skilling uh, for my masters in Germany, I received uh, three admits. Uh, the first one is from uh, Ruhr University, Bochum, for the course uh, Computational Engineering. Second one is from the University of Rostock uh, for the course Computational Science and Engineering with the specialization in Mechanical Engineering. Finally, I got it from TU Freiburg for the course uh, Computational Material Science. Well, I had a wonderful experience of uh, writing the project and uh, simulating the results so each project was very unique and uh, write and explain the results we have to go through a lot of uh, material which is available online or through different research papers or also through uh, different CFD books overall these projects have uh, helped me to understand exactly what is the outcome which is desired from the industries and the different kind of procedures that we as CFD engineers need to perform in order to tackle the difficulties which are present in the model. Well, before joining Skilllink, all I had with me was a bachelor's degree uh, in mechanical engineering. I had attained a good uh, CGPA, but uh, that was not enough because after going the you know job requirements or the uh, requirements for the master's programs, I realized that uh, apart from having a good CGPA, you also need to work on projects that is uh, you need to have either work experience or you need to work on projects which is related to the field that you want to pursue your career in that was a big disadvantage killing helped me to cover up that uh, disadvantage and not only that it has also made it an added advantage to my resume these projects alone are sufficient to raise me to a very high level compared to the peers who have completed their BTEC on the same level as me. So I'm very thankful to Skilling for that. My advice to all the engineering students is to carefully consider the specialization which you want to go into. Uh, I have noticed during my bachelor's course that there are a lot of students, including me, who have no idea of what in a future domain they want to go into. It is important to research all the possible specializations at a very early stage and carefully consider the domain which you are highly interested in. It should not happen that at a later date you regret going into that domain maybe because the course curriculum is too hard for you to deal with or you are just not interested into that domain. This is very important. Yes, I have uh, definitely recommended Skilling to a lot of my friends. The initial investment that we put into skill link is very small compared to the output we get at the end of the course. Uh, it is not something which you will uh, recognize before starting the course, but I'm sure after a couple of months of doing any one of the courses at skill link, you will understand the high impact that uh, the skill link courses will have in your future career. That's it from my side. I wish all of you the best of luck.